hello everyone in this video i am going to present one more method of solving fractional differential equation it's more like a power series method so in this method we'll take a special kind of power series and we use that method to solve a given fractional differential equation just a few things we need to recap before we start the method first we have to understand the capital sense fractional derivative we normally do it by capital D from 0 to x of order alpha which is fractional number and C stands for is capital derivative of some function f this is equal to Riemann Liouville integral fractional operator from 0 to x of order n minus alpha and then nth derivative integer order derivative of the function f of x and with the notation of Riemann Liouville integral operator I can write it 1 over gamma n minus alpha integral from 0 to x x minus t to the power n minus alpha minus 1 and then nth derivative of the function dt where alpha is positive and it lies between n and n minus 1. So this is the capital fractional derivative. Using this definition we have seen in previous lectures that if we want to take the derivative of alpha order of some function x to the power n it is equal to gamma n plus 1 over gamma n minus alpha plus 1 into x to the power n minus alpha where n is greater than negative 1 and alpha is positive so we have derived this formula before and we're using this formula here to solve a fractional differential equation okay the, the differential equation which I'm going to solve is very simple it's one term differential equation d alpha by dx alpha of y is equal to some constant capital A times y this is very simple fractional differential equation of first term and here we need to find the value of y we need to find the function y and under this method I'm using I'm taking y as an infinite series so as we know that we have seen previously we talk left -hand function which is e of index alpha some argument z is equal to series n from 0 to n z to the power n over gamma of alpha n plus 1 we have seen this before here under this method I am going to suppose that our unknown function y has such series representation e with alpha and here I am taking a time x to the power alpha which is nothing but summation series summation from n0 to infinity a to the power n x to the power alpha n and the denominator gamma of alpha n plus 1 using this definition so I'm assuming that my unknown function y has this form using this form I'm going to solve this equation and for this I need to for the left hand side I need to differentiate it alpha order using capital derivative and using this formula I can proceed so let's let's solve this equation okay so here we're going to solve this equation and we have assumed that our y has this form we talk left -hand function of one parameter alpha a x to the power alpha which is series from n 0 to infinity a to the power n over gamma n alpha plus 1 into x to the power n alpha okay I'm assuming my y is this so plugging the y here here if I write this as operator instead of writing d alpha over dx alpha I can write I'm taking d d alpha of y 
is equal to a times y and i am taking this differential operator to be the capital sense so i am taking the from 0 to x and here c stands for this capital fractional derivative okay now plugging the value of y it becomes fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha and y has this series which is summation and from 0 to infinity a to the power n x to the power n alpha over gamma of n alpha plus 1 and on the right hand side a remains as this and y again series form series from n 0 to infinity a to the power n x to the power n alpha and in the denominator gamma of n alpha plus 1 okay now i have to since function is very nice uniformly continuous so i can switch the differential operator and this summation since it operates only on x so the effect of this fractional derivative will only be applicable on this single term x to the power n alpha so this can be written as summation n from 0 to infinity a to the power n and denominator is n alpha plus 1 and capital D from 0 to x of order alpha capital sense x to the power n alpha n alpha and on right hand side everything will stays as it is a n x to the power n alpha and in the denominator gamma of n alpha plus 1 ok now I have to evaluate this thing using the formula which I just stated earlier which is capital D from 0 to x of our, of our order alpha capital sense x to the power n it has gamma n plus 1 over gamma n minus alpha plus 1 into x to the power n minus alpha using this formula my left hand side will take the form summation n from 0 to infinity a to the power n gamma n alpha plus 1 and here since here power is n so it's gamma n plus 1 but here power is n alpha it becomes gamma n alpha plus 1 and in the denominator here n minus alpha where n is power so power is n alpha so gamma n alpha minus alpha plus 1 then x to the power n minus alpha where n is the power here power is n alpha so is n alpha minus alpha and everything on the right hand side will remain as it is a n x to the power n alpha and here gamma of n alpha plus 1 okay now we can cancel out this term and remaining we can write summation n from 0 to infinity a to the power n and x to the power if i can take n minus alpha n minus alpha is common so I will I will get n minus 1 into alpha and same in the denominator gamma of in the first two terms I can write n minus 1 alpha plus 1 and x sorry okay, I have already done s is equal to a time summation n from 0 to infinity a power n x power n alpha and gamma of n alpha plus 1 okay now we can compare the series but since they have different power of x on both sides so first we have to make the power same for this i will replace the dummy variable n here in the first series i just switch n minus 1 by some other dummy variable k which is I can write n is equal to k plus 1 and here I will remain I will let everything remain as it is but since I have changing the 
argument the dummy variable from n to k so i can just here replace n by k and i will shift this series on the left so using this replacement now my series will look like n it since it started from n equals 0 but now, now n is k plus 1 when n is 0 k plus 1 is equal to 0 so it will be k from negative 1 to infinity and now a to the power n but n is now k plus 1 x to the power n minus 1 which is k so it is k alpha and in the denominator gamma of n minus alpha n minus 1 which is k so it is k alpha plus 1 minus again series from here I am just replacing n by k so k from 0 to infinity capital A into small a to the power n x to the power so sorry it's not n it's it's k actually a to the power k and x to the power k alpha and in the denominator gamma of k alpha plus 1 equal to 0 okay now I need to combine the both series but the first series starting from different numbers so I have to open this series for one term so its first term if I open it from k is from negative 1 it becomes a to the power negative 1 plus 1 which is 0 x to the power negative 1 k for negative 1 is becomes minus alpha over gamma of minus alpha plus 1 and then I will write the remaining series starting this time from 0 to infinity and everything remain as it is x to the power k alpha and then gamma of alpha k plus 1 and I can now I can now combine the series I can now combine the series okay do it in the next step we can do it next step so it's from k0 to infinity capital A small k to the power k x to the power k alpha and in the denominator gamma of alpha k plus 1 is equal to 0 okay okay doing one more term since a to the power 0 is 0 is, is 1 so x to the power minus alpha over gamma of 1 minus alpha plus series from k0 to infinity and inside I have a to the power k plus 1 k plus 1 over gamma of alpha k plus 1 minus here capital A small a to the power k and over gamma of alpha k plus 1 and x to the power k alpha is factored out and now it is equal to 0 which I can write 0 time x to the power minus alpha plus 0 time x to the power k alpha since it has 0 so I can write anything now I can compare the terms the coefficient of x to the power minus alpha here it is on the right we have 0 coefficients on the left we have 1 over gamma 1 minus alpha equal to 0 and here this is not possible because this returns nothing but 1 is equal to 0 so we are leaving this term for the next coefficient x to the power k alpha I have a to the power k plus 1 over gamma of alpha k plus 1 minus capital A a to the power k over gamma of alpha k plus 1 and this is equal to 0 so I can take gamma alpha k plus 1 in the denominator as common and since there is 0 on the right hand side so this can be simplified to a to the power k plus 1 is equal to a small a to the power k and k start from 0 1 2 and so on this is my recurrence relation here I can find the value of capital A small a for example, if I k if I take k is equal to 0, this becomes a to the power 1, a capital A and a to the power 0, which means small a is equal to capital A. Okay, for k is equal to 1, this becomes a to the power 2, capital A and small a, which means a square is equal to since small a is capital A, so it again becomes 
capital A square is equal to capital A square. In the same way, we can take k is equal to 2 and I will get a 3 is equal to a when I put plug here a square and this simplifies to a cube is equal to a cube and we can now see the pattern small a is equal to capital A so whatever the power of small a it is the power of capital A so all the all of the constants has been found by this reconciliation and now we'll put all these things in our assumed solution which have nothing but this thing okay now since we have assumed y to the is equal to metallic lexer function a to the power x to the power alpha which was series n from 0 to infinity a n x to the power n alpha over gamma of alpha n plus 1 and since a n is equal to if we continue this pattern we can see that a n is equal to capital a n so this becomes summation n from 0 to infinity capital a n x power n minus n alpha over gamma of l alpha alpha n plus 1 or if we use this short notation it becomes metallic lexer function of parameter alpha a which is capital A now and x to the power alpha. So it means we have the solution of in the form of metallic function E alpha capital A x to the power alpha. This is our dissolution of differential equation d alpha y over dx alpha is equal to a y and if we if we can, we can check the solution it's just taking the alpha is equal to 1 so that fractional differential equation becomes simple ordinary differential equation and here if alpha is 1 this becomes e of a x and we know that we talk left function when the parameter is 1 it is just exponential function so it is a to the power a x and here if we take alpha is 1 this becomes dy by dx is equal to a y this is ordinary differential equation separable so we can solve it by just separating the variable and we'll get the same answer here it means our solution does match with the classical differential equation theory so in this method we have seen that and this is again a, a very good method very good as assume, assumed power series which we can take and we can solve differential equation here i just took a one term differential equation in the next lecture i will take a little harder differential equation with at least two terms and I will use the same series to solve that fractional equation. Thank you for watching.